This conference will now be recorded. Into Angular React JS. So, if you have basic knowledge on JavaScript, then it's added advantage, or else uh, uh, it is quite uh, difficult for you all to understand. Srimati, uh, I don't Deja. have any experience about Java. I don't know JavaScript. Just a little bit idea about uh, HTML. Uh, how about Srimati? So they same as well. I know how HTML works, but I don't know JavaScript. So. Yeah, so I'll just cover some introduction to this Angular JS or React JS, and uh, then we'll also uh, try to look at some high-level perspective of JavaScript, so that you'll get you'll get fair idea like how it works. Yeah. So okay. let's see to it. Okay. Fine. So let me share my desktop. Yeah, we'll go slowly and we'll try to understand each and every topic in simple terms. Yeah. So whatever we discuss, right, I request you all to practice so that you'll get lots of questions. Yeah. So then after that, we can have discussion on those questions. Yeah. Srimati and Teja. Yeah, okay, sir. So first thing, let us have a brief introduction to what uh, Angular JS. Yeah? So either this Angular JS or React JS. So both are derived from what JS, which is JavaScript. That is a foundation. Yeah. I'll come to that. Uh, let me just give some introduction to this Angular JS. Yeah. So this particular Angular JS follows what MVC framework. MVC means Model View Controller. I'll talk about what it does. Yeah. So it's a framework. Yeah. So built by Google for what web web application development. So this particular uh, what uh, MVC framework it has been built for what web application development yeah so so this angular js is uh, based on what MVC framework that's all that's a starting point yeah now let us talk about some basic elementary things when it comes to what why we need to go with what angular genius that's a question right so let's compare other frameworks deal with what uh, html shortcomings by either abstracting away html css or javascript yeah or by providing an imperative way of manipulating the DOM which is document object model because JavaScript is purely driven from DOM and BOM. DOM means the document object model and BOM means what the browser object model. Yeah? So which means we build JavaScript based on those two models. Anyway which in turn would also support what uh, CSS, cast scripts, style sheets, all that. Yeah. So neither of this address the root problem that HTML was not designed for dynamic views. That was the problem with those uh, plain HTML or with CSS or with a JavaScript. Yeah. These are the problems. Which is other frameworks have got a problems that we can overcome by using what. Uh, angular js yeah? so for example structure quality organization so these three aspects we could you easily do it or we could usually take care by using what angular js yeah and angular js is a lightweight framework yeah which is 
less than 36 kb compressed and magnified and it is free so it's so open source and we can use it for free for learning purpose and separation of concern there's a clear separation of each functionality that we do within this angular js like mvc model is separate vv is separate controller is separate yeah? then modularity so which means this particular angular js it has been designed in a structured way or modular so in the sense if you have a root element then you have a chain grand chain each what you call object would does would do its own specific functionality so that's where modularity is going to play very key role in this particular angular js yeah then we have extensibility and maintainability meaning what in case if you want to extend based on our feature uh, expectations so those things also we can take care quite easily by using what angular js plus maintainability remember so maintenance wise angular js is far superior than compared with simple html or with a javascript yeah so that way it is good and then it has got reusable components which means we can build a component once and which can be used several times yeah? or several places yeah? so html is a question mark build ui declaratively cs for animations javascript use it uh, the plain world way so which means so uh, though it's a plain world way these are derived angular js or reactive js right they are derived from what javascript that's a foundation anyway yeah so so that's it like uh, why we need to start getting into the usage of what angular js yeah? simple modularity separation extensibility reusability lightweight it is free and clearly structured yeah? so these are main bullet points if you have any questions on these bullet points so please let me know uh, and uh, No, Any sir. questions on this? No, oh, okay. No, sir. Okay. Now, okay. Now let us talk about jQuery. This one of the concept within this Angular JS, where we use it for what? It allows for DOM manipulation, which is document object model manipulation. For example, if you say HTML top in the tree, which is going to be the root element or we can also say that it's a document within that we can have multiple sub elements like a body and so on right there are what sub objects and it does not provide structure to your code jquery does not provide that it does not allow for two-way binding which is top and bottom yeah so now the next question other java MVC model view frameworks like a backbone JS, Ember JS. We got uh, many other uh, what do you call uh, uh, frameworks which are based on what model view controller. Yeah. For example, if you look at the graph where we can see Angular JS is can you see here it is growing in an exponential manner. You can see right. How it grows backbone js it is going down yeah and uh, we can also see ember js it is almost flat which means what out of these three frameworks angular js is uh, leading the market god right yeah so which means angular js is a number one what you call a uh, framework which is based on what model view controller yeah? 
Even this is also backbone JS, embed JS. They are also based on what uh, model view controller, but they have not been evolved because of their own uh, limitations. Yeah? So that's it. Yeah? So now let us talk about some of the features that we have within this Angular JS. So two-way data mining. Yeah? So model as single source of truth. Yeah? So which means we can build once that will become as what source of truth. So that can be referred anywhere one to get better maintainability and second extensibility and directives. So it can extend HTML in the sense with respect to tags, right? So it can extend HTML and it follows what MVC framework, which is a model view controller what it does we'll see anyway and dependency injection so which means it has got some pre-built injections so this angular js it depends on that then testing so we can easily test it deep linking which is map url to root definition and server side communication is quite easy it's not complex yeah. so these are some of the features like mainly we can say that it supports a two-way data binding and directives voice it can extend uh, html it follows mvc framework then dependency deep linking server side communication they're all quite easy by using what angular js yeah now let us talk about binding part first bullet point that right? first feature you know so now if you look at this particular uh see open tag html right ng app you know the starting point you know then head which is again head opens and head closes angular.js so as we have seen single source of binding right this one single source of truth you know so which means we can see here angular.js it will act as what single source of truth now within the body so let's say we can have username and then followed by what you call uh, getting the username from the user or getting it printed based on this particular model yeah so body opens here and closes html opens here closes here head opens here closes here so which means for every open tag there will be corresponding close tag similarly you can also see script opens here and closes here the source is what angular.js so this is how what you call we specify the data binding within this angular.js yeah. now let us talk about the uh, what is a model view framework and how it is going to work yeah so can you see model is what it is a data view is what gui it's a graphical user interface and controller means what logic like a transformation or any expressions that we have right so those things we take care by using this particular what uh, controller so controller is going to be the major part that's where we are going to put a lot of effort in order to understand like how to build a logic uh, in order to perform this uh, building angular js operations yeah? so model is a data now how the flow would take place from ui we perform something yes or no then it notifies it to what logic which is a controller where we build a logic so whatever we do here it will be reflected based on any data so once data gets changed then you'll get notification to the graphical user interface then it repeats so this flow is same simple graphical part this is ui part then logic part 
and date of cut. So for example, if you know earlier, there are lots of patterns for the design patterns we call. <coughs> so 23 design patterns were there. <coughs> Most of the patterns, they're all based on what uh, MVC framework, which means this particular framework was there since many years more than 30 years you know and most of the tools most of the applications and most of the interfaces or most of the frameworks including angular js is based on what mvc so mvc is one of the standard framework which has been used in many many tools technologies applications packages interfaces whatsoever yeah so this is one of the most popular and widely used successful framework in the market yeah so clear so you can probably can just observe this particular diagram and ask questions if you have any questions Srimati and Teja okay okay so that's starting point okay so now look at extension to the previous slide so model js objects which means javascript objects that i'm going to show now with practical examples and then view dom which is a document object model so which is a simple graphical user interface and then controller is what js classes which is javascript classes where we are going to build the logic so that's what we do here this is a data part this is the interface part this is what logic part so which means we are going to make use of multiple javascript classes in order to build the logic yeah so where it will have interaction with the JS objects and also with what DOM, which is document object model, which is a graphical user interface, like simple HTML page, just to make it very simple. Yeah, HTML page, body, all that you have seen, right? So there are DOM is purely driven from what a uh, uh, graphical interface, which in turn will be expressed based on what. Uh, objects so that's all this uh, dom is going to work yeah so this is enough theory part so we'll try to do some practical part of it so that you will understand better yeah so slow every day right we'll have some theory and also we'll have some practical part so you'll get a foundation then we'll try to build strong foundation by getting it executed in uh, this angular js environment or even simple js environment or react to JSM. any environment is fine fine okay the first thing yeah so first thing so we need to have a basic knowledge on javascript yeah so for example uh how we can write a javascript independently so nowadays you don't need to learn JavaScript or even AngularJS or ReactJS because we just need to understand like how to supply the prompt rather than understanding those frameworks. Because we have got multiple tools that we have in the market. So we just need to understand how to make use of those AI tools so that uh, we could able to start uh, building any web web pages which means we can perform web application development quite easily which means you don't need to know even language also so that i'm going to show why i'm trying to talk about it yeah? so because we already have a tools in the market example chart gpt gemini Copilot. There are many other tools in the market. I'm just trying to make use of one of them to build a code. So we can say that we are going to make use of 
these uh, artificial intelligence tools just to generate a code and that particular code will be used in order to build what web pages or we can perform web application development by taking the help from what example one of the ai tool which is chat gpt for example let us uh, write a javascript so for uh, hello world let's let's start with this hello world yeah. with no html let us start with what in the back end side how it works then we will talk about front end side how it works right uh, we'll try to start with let us say server side yeah so can you see here so we can just use console.log hello world to display the message hello world message in a console yeah? so let us see this then we'll talk about how same thing can be displayed in a graphical user interface yeah? because we talked about model view controller right yes or no now we are trying to focus on what we call controller part which is a logical part then we'll convert this to graphical user interface which is web we are going to display you know? so let us take this so let's say we have this so fine i'll just put here a underscore hello dot js yeah okay that's it. now we can go to this yeah so here we need to just uh, what i call download this node node.js in order to make it to work so I just have to go to this uh, what uh, google and download node.js yeah so what we need to do here to download node.js yeah? so this we need to download so once it is done then i will download it here so we can just run node then followed by our script name can you see here we got hello world so this is going to be the starting point yeah clear so so this is going to be the starting point which means this way we could able to what i call create a simple javascript and get it displayed in a console now let us try to convert this to what web page yeah so for that also what we can do here we can ask chat gpt to convert our code yeah so convert our code with uh, what html yeah? Yeah, now it is done here. So, yeah, now, yeah, now what we need to do here. So, now we are trying to call script within this uh, HTML. Yeah. Fine. Now, let us copy this and then paste it here. Yeah. Then, let us say. I'll just put here uh, double quote B underscore. So what is the name here? So you can just give name like let us say hello dot HTML. Right? Enter. So you can see here. So it starts with what uh, doc type HTML. Then HTML language is what English. 
and header is what uh, head, head, head starts here head ends here so this follows the character set which is utf8 which means it can also take care of what uh, international characters which is universal text format right utf means then meta name viewport which is on uh, we are trying to display this in what uh, page so so we can see viewport here which is what uh, we talked about view right model view controller so viewport so what we are going to view so based on width and height or a scale so what what is that it what it contains here a title that's all yeah now that is the html part that's a view part now within that we can also able to see execution of a javascript yeah so what is that what it contains console.log hello world so that's what we discussed earlier in the previous example right console.log hello world that's it so now head closes over here then body also closes over here here you can see sorry body starts here ends here body has got nothing you know because here we are trying to display only what you call hello world title you know? if you have any built-in logic apart from display then we'll get in there that's where data part comes into picture you know? so html closes here because it's open here which is html and closes over here simple you know so in this, this what we are trying to understand view part yeah so let us see how to run this yeah so b dot hello right just double click on it so can you see here nothing is there. title is what hello world you can see right so that's it this what we can see with this particular what you call example yeah so now likewise you can extend this with uh, some more examples yeah so like for example extend above this is a title only we gave right title means what title bar what we can see over here that's it now we can also ask chat gpt to display what so now let us say display extend above code yeah or modify above code to display what to display hello in the page yeah. yes can you see there's a header here yeah. so now let us take this code and uh, create a new now we can just save as let's say c underscore display hello dot html right so that's it yeah now we could able to see here within a script we could able to say add event listener there's a function where we can see head contains what hello word yeah. yeah can you see here now we are trying to display hello world along with title also because it contains title hello world plus within a script we are trying to add one function which is add event listener where we are trying to display what hello world <laughs> so this is going to be the starting point which means what you don't need to know the language now nowadays what you need to know instead of that so we need to understand like a, how to supply the prompt to this particular chat gpt so that it would generate a code we just need to what uh, uh look at the result which means the main part here is what supplying the input to this chart gpt that is going to be the key challenging part rest will be taken care by 
chat gpt because that's what we did right initially or we started with what how to take care of simple or plain javascript we talked about it then next example we talked about uh, how to take care of title display part this is a title bar and third we have also extended that with what along with the title display this text in a web page so this is how we can understand step by step like how one can start uh, getting into building the web pages clear Srimati and uh, uh, teja yes sir uh, yes sir yeah so this is very cool so just have to follow this and uh, then uh, practice after the session so that you will easy you can easily understand it's not all a complex i'll talk about this concept and the usage of it in simple terms so that you can understand quite easily srimad and teja yeah yeah now let us go with what next level now we have seen the display part yeah so let us say so we'll go with what logic part yeah so now extend a book code with the uh, logic what logic calculate calculate sum of n natural numbers and uh, display in uh, a page yeah so with the uh, what javascript fine let's say that yeah so which means now we are trying to perform this calculation part n in 10 plus 1 by 2 which is sum up and on numbers and display the result yeah so insert html content yeah so that's it now let us just copy this code and uh, i'll just say save us so let's say d so now we are trying to focus on what not only display we are trying to focus on calculation yeah? okay I'll, I'll say just put logic yeah? so logic sir name sir our uh, choice right uh, hello sorry uh name sir our choice right a b c d uh file name ma uh. Yeah, name ABC. could be yeah na name could be any yes name could any name can be given yeah yes you okay. it's our choice you are right okay. because I'm just following A B C D sequence right I'm just uh, following them but so we can follow like whatever the way that you want because every project will have some coding guidelines so senior people they'll just define it we just start to follow that uh, uh Srimath and Teja fine so okay, logic sir. title and display right three things we are taking care of right logic then title and display dot html right that's all now let me try to paste it here yeah now this part i think we talked about it language part head part all that now our goal is what to calculate some of natural numbers yes or no yeah what is the function add event listener yeah so what it does this function calculates some it takes n as input so n in 10 plus 1 by 2 this is a formula that we use right yes or no example uh, example number equal to 10 then make a call which is calculate sum. control goes over here execute this uh, formula then it returns what sum which is sum value then that some value we need to display it right somewhere yes or no sum of first n n means what 10 here is the 10 right 10 natural numbers so now we can see sum of 10 natural numbers is dollar sum that's it so we can clearly see like what this part of the script is working this complete part is what a javascript remember which means it's a logic part we do it 
within a script example here we are trying to calculate sum of n natural numbers clear uh and sir this is automatic code right we did not any write code right you don't need those days are gone see when let us say three four years or 10 15 years back we had to write a code now okay. we have to ask we have to ask input to the tool to write a code for us so which means okay. providing a prompt to the tool is going to be the key challenging part nowadays you got right okay in real time also yes, same sir. right same so real okay. time that's what because see now the latest trend is towards what uh providing a prompt rather than writing a code writing a code means it will take a lot of time so uh -huh. oh, oh, so this will take a lot of time to write a code yes or no so yes. we can save a lot of time right i think see within half an hour we could able to perform many things like a title part display part then console part then fourth example we are trying to do with what uh, uh logic part so can we do this much with a manual by typing which is not practical yes or no because we could able to do it because we are using one of the ai tool which is chat gpt example here yes or no right yes, so that too with these tools uh, there is no way of making a mistake because they take care of syntax semantics even logic part we just need to understand like how to supply the input to this particular tool rest all will be taken care by the tool you got right yes sir. that's what we did right nothing else yeah okay, so whatever sir. is required for us we just need to supply the input you got right yes sir. no yes, yes so now let us try to execute this yeah See, we got some of the first 10 natural numbers. How much? 55. 10 into 10 plus 1 by 2, right? 10 into 10 plus 1, which is 10 into 11 by 2. 2, 2, 5, 5, right? 5 into 11, which is 55. That's correct, no? Yes or no? Tej and Timothy. Clear, right? Yes, sir. So very simple. So title is what here? Sum of natural numbers. Where do you say it here? Here you can see. See sum of natural numbers. Then within that, we are trying to add a script, which is a JavaScript here. It starts over here, ends here. Within JavaScript, what we are trying to do? We talked about DOM, right? Document object model. So it follows document object model with a function so now within that function what we are trying to do calculate sum by supplying n as input what is the formula we are using n standard n formula. exactly n 10 plus 1 by 2 yeah then we hard code some values let's say n equal to 10 and make a call to this function by supplying the n because n we already hard coded it here then display if you want to display on the web page, then we use what body and then inner HTML where head is what dollar n. N means what input, which is a 10. Yes or no? Some of the first 10 natural numbers. That's what we saw right in the page. Yes or no? Some of the first 10. 10 is what n equal yeah. 10 we assigned, right? Yes, sir. So then the next line is what? Uh, some of the first n natural numbers is 10 natural numbers is dollar sum some we have already calculated here this one right yes sir no so result of this particular function so that we could able to say over here which is 55 so that's it like how one can start understanding what we call how to supply the input and the get the, get the result in the web page see how easy is this is it not easy, Teja and uh, Simati? Easy. It's not complex, right? Because nowadays we don't need to type, understand. Those days are gone. Yeah? 
If mm -hmm. you are still there, means what? You are 10, 15 years backstage. Now, we are what we call in for with the market. In market, what we have? We have what latest AI tools. Now, what we need to do? We need to know how to make those of it and build on top of it. So, that's what we are trying to do over here. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, so I think that's that's enough for today because if we talk about too many things, we'll get into confusion more because we talked about introduction to Angular JS. Then within that, we focused on a DOM, which is a document object model, where we use it as part of JavaScript. So that's what we focused on today's session. So we'll extend this from tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, if okay. I have any questions, uh, I will ask tomorrow, sir. Yes, Taja. If I have any questions uh, for today's section, I will ask you tomorrow. Sure, definitely. What you can do is after recording, you section, can take uh, the recording. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You can play the recording. You can practice. Then uh, prepare questions and ask questions tomorrow so that we can discuss on that. Yes, that's where we can okay, make it sir. more Thank interactive. You, yeah, okay, so thank you. Okay, okay, thanks to bye. both of you and bye. Okay. Thank you, sir.